Okay? If you're doing the GLOBE version of Lab 2, you'll require some specialized equipment. And these materials should be acquired by your institution ahead of time and provided for your use. First of all, you'll need a globe. And a 12-inch diameter globe is pretty standard. And they're also fairly inexpensive, maybe $10 to $15, $20 at most. They should be tilted by 23 and a half degrees, the tilt of Earth's rotation axis. And they should come with a, an hour circle attached to the North Pole. You'll need a source of light. And an exposed light bulb or a point source of light won't do. You need nice, uniform illumination. And this is best achieved with a ring light. You can see one here. And nowadays, they come in LED as well. Also, fairly inexpensive. This gives you nice, uniform illumination of the globe, providing for a straight terminator. That's the division between day and night. And having a straight terminator is key for having good measurements in this lab. You'll also need a stand and a clamp to hold the ring light. And this is pretty standard chemistry lab equipment. You may also want to get a dark colored towel to put on the surface between the ring light and the globe. And this is to cut down on light reflecting off the table and back up onto the globe. Now, if this is your only apparatus in the room, you're probably fine. But if you have many of these in the same room, the light from the ring light can bounce all over the place, messing up the measurements for the other globes. In this case, you'll need to construct a PVC cage. So what we have here are eight pieces of two foot PVC, four pieces of four foot PVC, and eight three-way connectors. You can see one of them here. You'll also want to get some black felt to drape over the cage to trap the light in, and you'll even cover up the side that's facing us in the picture. The only thing that should be exposed is the globe. The light should be covered up. Now this picture is a good example of why you do need a ring light. In this picture, you can see we tried to do two individual lights. And if you look at the terminator, it's not straight at all. So don't do what you see in this picture. Instead, do a ring light as is shown in the lab. Now the last thing that you'll need is a protractor with a string attached. I'll scroll down here to show you an example. These can be bought in bulk, very inexpensively, just a plastic protractor. You want to get the ones with the hole already drilled at the zero, zero point. Then you can very easily tie the string through that hole. Okay, that's all that you need for this lab.